Hey there guys, how are you? Welcome to a brand new Ask Anything, where you can ask anything and everything, no matter how weird, no matter how dark, down below in the comments and I'll answer it next week. By the way, I'm not wearing any pants right now, that's a true story. Now the first question up is, John, what did you think about the new Interstellar trailer? Well, let me first say this, I went to see Godzilla a few days ago, and one of the most anticipated things I wanted to see during that movie well, actually, during the previews of the movie, it was a new Interstellar trailer by Christopher Nolan. Did I get that? No, I was disappointed. I got some old fucking trailer I didn't want to see. Uh, so anyway, the new trailer's online now. I watched it a few times. And a few things that we learn in this new Interstellar trailer are Earth is essentially out of food. Matthew McConaughey is an engineer and a pilot, but Earth doesn't need engineers. We need pilots. And it may be engineers in space. Because having an engineer aboard a spaceship would be a good idea. Uh, so anyway, uh, and also during this entire trailer, there's a, a bit of music playing in the background. Beautiful music. And I remembered where it's from. It's from the movie V for Vendetta. It's that music at the end of the movie where they're kind of building everything up and tying all the loose ends together. It's just very inspirational, very badass. Uh, anyway, V for Vendetta. Great movie. Uh, let's keep going. Um, there's a lot of family drama moments throughout the first half of this trailer, which I like. I like Christopher Nolan for doing that. You know, he's trying to make a point that this is a drama movie, and then we're going to space. So it's not just like some space sci-fi adventure film, uh, even though I kind of hope that's what it leads into. And then finally, you get the money shots for the first time ever. We finally see space shots. We see like this uh, bubble-ish type thing happening in the middle of space. I guess it's a black hole. Uh, and interstellar travel is essentially using wormholes to go throughout space. Uh, why are we doing that? I don't know. Are we looking for a uh, new hope? Humanity? Some, someone to save us? Not quite sure what the point of it is, but I can't wait to see. Now, um... The other thing is, this trailer does a good job at keeping the mystery alive and keeping the viewer intrigued. That's something that trailers don't do anymore. You know what trailers do nowadays? Here's the whole fucking movie, all but 30 seconds of it. Here you go. You want to come watch it? So, talking to you, Amazing Spider-Man 2. All right. So, that's my quick thoughts on Interstellar, the new trailer. I like it. Can't wait to see where we're going with it. And on a side note, I'll give you a little bit more... Um, poignant information about the poignant. Is that even a word? I feel like it is. Uh, anyway, I'll give you some more side info, some quick flick facts. Uh, I did read some bullet points of a leaked script of this movie. Now, this movie, the script has existed in Hollywood for a while now. Uh, a few other directors attached to it were Steven Spielberg at one time, but he dropped out. And I, I'm not, uh, quick spoilers, put your earmuffs on, I'll tell you when you can take them off. When I move mine off, you can take yours off. Or skip the video until I don't wear earmuffs. By earmuffs, I mean my hands. So anyway, uh, this is weird. Uh, in one of the earlier uh, versions of the script, I guess the um, explorers are in space and they actually do go to a planet. I think it's a frozen planet, very technologically advanced, and there is an encounter with an alien race, a very intelligent alien race. And so that's all I really picked up from the leaked version of that script. If that's true, not quite sure, but I like the fact that it's going that direction. Okay, let's jump into the other questions here, guys. By the way, how are you guys doing? I feel rude. I didn't ask you how you're doing. Good? I hope you're all doing good. What is today? It's Saturday. I just got done shooting my Godzilla review. I think I sat there for 45 minutes trying to conjure up, I was trying to put my thoughts together on the movie and I got lost a few times. I just started talking about something for 15 minutes and I was like, I'm not gonna use any of that. And somehow it led to me wearing cowboy boots at a public swimming pool. Yeah, weird shit. Okay, so the first question is by King Hales 786 23 likes on this question, and he technically has four questions. But I'm going to answer this. Hey, John, it's been a long time, bro. I have four very important questions. Please answer them all honestly. That's all I do is answer them honestly. I try. Uh, all right. How are you? How's life? Seriously, sit back, gaze up at the ceiling, and tell me how you truly feel. What's going on in your head? Oh, I needed this. Thank you. Uh, well, the first thing I'm thinking of is my ceiling fan's on. I got a nice breeze right now, and I'm not wearing any pants. It feels real good. Uh, the second thought is, life's okay. Things are moving fast. Uh, big changes coming. I'm moving. Um, we'll talk more about that once I actually move in the, the that first Q&A. You guys, big changes. I promise you, big life changes. What else is there? Uh, obligations. I've been dealing with a lot of obligations all month. Uh, you know, I, I'm one of those guys who hate obligations. I try to avoid them at all costs, but 
The last month has been nothing but obligations. Uh, I've been eating a lot of frozen rice, instant frozen rice. Uh, it's, it's like steam fresh rice. It costs a dollar. I get it at Walmart. Delicious though. Delicious. Um, what else is there? I don't know. I'm trying to bust out more YouTube videos than I usually have, at least over on the FlickPick channel. Things are going good over there. Um, I don't know. Life is okay right now. I'm interested to see where it goes. I'm positive. I'm happy. I've been listening to a lot of, uh, movie scores when I go to the gym and work out. Uh, Broken Arrow soundtrack, which, uh, that soundtrack to that, it's almost too good of a soundtrack for the movie. Um, in my opinion by Hans Zimmer, but listen to the Broken Arrow soundtrack and just it's so relaxing It's so relaxing. I like I don't know if I want to become Christian Slater and uh, try to Diffuse a nuclear weapon in the desert. I'm not quite sure what that means by the way on a side note Some people say I look like Christian Slater. I don't put a turbo dog in the microwave I don't know. Okay, the next question you have here is I may have a mental illness I could go to the doctors, but if they give me that Definitive answer that I do not have it That may be too much for me to endure should I go to the doctor or should I stay? Unleashed in the streets not knowing if I'm dangerous or not Hmm, I don't know I, I can't I think you should Get a consensus on what your mental illness is uh, But in all honesty if if I knew that that consensus would be me being locked up in a padded room in a straight jacket for the rest of my life, I probably wouldn't go in either. And I'm telling you, if I did go to a doctor or a, psychi psychi or a psychiatrist, they'd probably call me a sociopath. I'm not kidding you. And I would be on brain numbing medications for the rest of my life. So I, I feel your pain, brother. Just stay put, stay in the shadows. They can't get you there. The next question is, my friend Luke, he likes the last airbender. Could you please insult him for about a minute? My love for you would grow incredibly. I don't want to insult your friend, but I will. Uh, your friend Luke, I'm sorry to say, has no film etiquette whatsoever. The Last Airbender is an abomination against humanity. It's everything wrong with a movie that could possibly go wrong. In Night Shyamalan, Lama Ding Dong, I don't even hate the guy. But I'm just disappointed in the guy over and over and over again. Uh, the Last Airbender almost felt like, um, it, it kind of felt like a... a a movie that a 10 year old kid would put together in his backyard, but they just gave him like 50 million dollars to do it And he cast like his best friends like the people in that movie shouldn't even exist Like the little girl in that movie just feels like a like she doesn't know how to act even though she grew up to be a little bit hotter That's a weird that got weird right there. But yeah, your friend Luke um, What's wrong with you man? Come on. You need to watch some good movies some good fantasy movies Now I get that you might like the last airbender the animated show so much that you feel like you have to like the live-action movie But that's not the case. Okay, because it rapes the source material um, So Luke, I'm sure you're a nice kid but if you want a bright future, you need to come to the fact that you are wrong about The Last Airbender. Look yourself in the mirror and say, I'm wrong and I can change. Because why? I'm better than that. All right. Next question is, finally, could you please make a weekly or monthly video where you just rant about Lights, Camera, Jackson for a good five minutes? It will decrease the questions about him and your Q&As and, you <laughs> and you would also fulfill the lives of your viewers. I'm not even going to talk about that kid anymore. I refuse to talk about him. You guys know how I feel. Um, and most of it was for comedic effect, but I could just tell in reality I would not get along with this person. You ever see those people where you're like, I just would not get along with that person. Um, and that's one of them. So probably not. I'll just avoid them altogether and we're going to keep moving on. So anyway, thanks for the great questions, man. Um, those got weird, by the way. <sighs> okay, I need to take a... I, can I take a sip of my grape juice? Is that okay with everyone? I'm mean, Just one sip. And I'll tell you a quick flick fact about grape juice. It's good shit. Okay. By the way, drink a lot of grape juice. Do it for about a day. Maybe like five, six glasses in one day. Go take a poop. It's going to be green. Yeah, that's a, that's a true story. All right. Hey, Johnny. Dick, you Nick and suck a tit, have you seen The Beach starring Leonardo DiCaprio? Do you watch Game of Thrones? I do not watch Game of Thrones. I have it downloaded literally right back there on my desktop ready to go. Uh, I like The Beach with Leonardo DiCaprio. A lot of people don't like that movie. I never minded it. There was something always relaxing like when they go in that, that beach. It's like, I want to go there one day. Uh, in reality, people that is a real place. People go there and drink beer and beer cans are all over the place. Um, 
I always sort of liked the movie. Um, but I like the shark attack scene in the movie too. Very real. All right. I've always found Forrest Gump to be overrated, good, but never saw it as one of the best movies ever. I can understand that. I can understand how you can say it's overrated and not one of the best movies ever. Absolutely can agree with you. Uh, but for me, it, it fits all the criteria of what I find to be a good movie and what I find to be an interesting movie. I love movies that follow someone's life story. It does that. Uh, I like movies uh, that take liberties but also utilize real life historical events as bullet points throughout the movie it just kind of makes you feel like it's a more of a true story than it really is that movie does nothing but that uh, it's well made robert zemeckis did a great job technically on that movie i mean the movie feels like it's at least six years ahead of its time on a technological standpoint um i i've always just liked it i mean it has so many elements i like lieutenant dan fucking hilarious all right why are you moving houses, people next door assholes? And I like the response. No, he's got ghosts. Uh, moving houses, long story. I will explain it later. Everything's okay. Everything's okay. People next door are nice, old people. He, he actually mows my half my yard sometimes because I refuse to do it. I'm lazy. I, actually, I got to do it today, but it's been raining all week. Um, hey, Johnny Booger Flicker. Good nickname. Uh, who would you want to see as the villain in the next solo Batman movie? I'd like to see Riddler. I'd like to see Riddler done well. I'd like to see a movie that it just feels like it's on the edge of your seat because his riddles, I want them to be interesting and fascinating. I don't want the riddles that we got from Jim Carrey in 1995. Uh, but I'd like to see the Riddler, and I, I wouldn't mind seeing another villain thrown in there, a more um, capable... I'd like to see... How about Deathstroke? Deathstroke and Batman in a live action movie could be badass. Because that's somebody who can keep up with Batman on a physical standpoint. And that's what I'd like to see. Alright. Hey Johnny, what are you doing over there? Hey, hey, what are you doing over there? Uh, what is the best, best place to buy cheap Blu-rays? I don't know, pawn shops? I, I would say go to pawn shops if you can. Uh, if you were tied to a chair and Leonidas was standing over you with the Dark Knight and Point Break and the Blu-ray player next to you, which would you pick? Or is he going to kick one down a well? I don't know, man. You can't make me pick between Point Break and the Dark Knight. <sighs> Shit. Just kick me down the well. Leave both movies here. Kick me down the well. Okay? All right. Quick question. Where do you buy poster frames for your posters? Walmart. Buy everything at Walmart. All right. Hey, Johnny boy, take off your shirt and flex your arm muscles. <laughs> what the fuck? Um, speaking, speaking of that, though, damn it. I, I got five minutes left. I got to plug my camera in. Hang on. Hang on. Don't get scared now. I'm behind you guys. All right. Let me plug my camera in because I'm going to be too lazy to edit this video there we go oh you got the juice baby okay she's all juiced up ready to go all right uh look at that look what i've been doing look at that look at that Grr, 17 inches 17 inch bicep um all right which reminded me i wanted to talk about the ben affleck bat suit a little bit more i did it on my flip pick channel but um i i, I said this in my video i said Ben Affleck is a big guy when he wants to be. He is getting cut. He is getting big for the role of Batman, all right? There's no doubt about it. I've seen some pictures. The guy's getting gained mass and size. But when you look at the bat suit compared to Ben Affleck, even though he is gaining mass and size, he's not that ripped as the bat suit's making him out to be. That bat suit looks like bodybuilder Jay Cutler's wearing it. Um, and so all I was saying is the bat suit is enhancing him. Ben Affleck is gaining mass, but that bat suit literally is the defining muscles in his arms and everything ben affleck isn't quite there yet fair enough that's all i wanted to say i got off topic all right let's keep going johnny if you could live anywhere in the world and money wasn't an issue where would it be and why i don't know you know somewhere i'm tired of winter i hate the winter seasons it's depressing it's gloomy and people who live in cooler climates uh, actually don't live as long. I, I think that's a statistical fact I read somewhere or made up in my head, but uh, and it makes sense because the cold just kind of just wears you out physically. Um, 
So I would definitely like to wear, I don't know, maybe somewhere warm, but I want the conveniences of home. Like I still want Walmarts, I still want my gym, I still want the YMCA, I still want, you know, all those things. So it wouldn't be like a tropical island. It would have to be, I don't know, maybe California, somewhere in Florida, maybe one of those two. All right. Hey, John Boy, what's your favorite Marvel movie from Blade 1998 to current day? Oh, and the hardcore, softcore video gamer. Oh, am I, I, I'm more of a softcore video gamer? I don't, um, favorite Marvel movie, oh man. Whew, where do you, where do you start with that? I mean, I like the Avengers, and I like the first Iron Man movie. I even like the Incredible Hulk movie, and I like the first Blade movie. You know what? I'm going to go with Captain America, the Winter Soldier. I might go with that as saying I think that would be my favorite Marvel movie to date. All right. Yo, Johnny Utah, my question is for, y for you. Who is the all-around better actor, DiCaprio or Christian Bale? And which, which was their best movie? Mine is Wolf of Wall Street and The Dark Knight. I mean, when you go to Christian Bale, man, that guy is a method actor. He really, he's a character a actor is what he is. Um, and so is DiCaprio, both character actors. Um, DiCaprio, I mean, I don't, I really can't think about that. Okay, Christian Bale, Out of the Furnace, great movie. The Dark Knight, great movie. He does play Batman the way I like to see him play, but I wouldn't say that's his best performance. I would say mo movies like... Um, even American Psycho, like I'd, I'd almost give it to him on that one, or The Machinist. Um, and as far as DiCaprio goes, I, I really did like Wolf of Wall Street. I, th I thought he did okay in The Aviator. Um, you know, I, I'd prob probably say, uh, I'm thinking of the other Scorsese movie. Where's it at? I can't think of it. The uh, it's got Matt Damon in it. How did I just forget about what the? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna edit this out. I gotta think about it. The Departed. There we go. All right. I'd say maybe The Departed was his one of his better performances. All right. Hey Johnny Flixer, can you please make a new favorite movies list? Because I get the feeling the other one is outdated. You're awesome, man. Well, thanks, man. You too. Um, yeah, I would say for the most part. The majority of the ones I threw in that last top 20 best movies of all time would still be in the new one, uh, for the most part. But I, you know, that's a good idea. Maybe before summer's over, I will make a new one. You'll flick. Take Joker out of the Dark Knight, and it's fucking terrible. You realize how bad the movie really is once you st stop being blind by Heath. It's true. Oh, I'm not. I'm. I'm going to disagree with you a little bit, but I'm not saying. Yeah, you take Heath Ledger's performance of that movie. Yeah, that movie, so many great moments of that movie are going to be taken away, but you could really make that argument for a lot of movies. I mean, if you take that one, like you take Hannibal Lecter out of The Silence of the Lambs, is it still a good movie? No. I mean, so that's where the argument kind of gets broken up. But yeah, I mean, if you still would have, if you had a shitty actor in that movie playing the Joker, that movie definitely would have been taken down a peg or two. Absolutely agreed. Your thoughts on the Power Rangers movie reboot? I don't give a fuck. I really, I never was a fan of the Power Rangers. Even as a kid, I wasn't into them. Uh, I knew a lot of people who were. I just, I couldn't do it. I tried. I, I was like, Billy the Blue Ranger scares the shit out of me. I don't know. Why does that guy look like he's 38 years old and in high school? I don't trust it. Hey, Johnny Flickster, if you couldn't do what you're doing now, what kind of job would you have? I don't know, man. F fucking delivering pizzas? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I, I was always into advertising. I was always into design. I Maybe st work at some graphic design place, possibly, or work in marketing. I'm not quite sure what I would, I would truly do. I'm not sure. Hey, John, if you could direct a movie about any superhero of your choice, who would you cast as the hero, and who would the villain be, and what would the story be? I don't think I have enough time to contemplate that question right now. Obviously, I'd, I'd like to direct a Batman movie, and some of the direction that they're going with the new Batman vs. Superman movie with Ben Affleck, and you got the first picture, it looks like he's right out of the comic book pages of The Dark Knight Returns. 
that essentially was the direction I always envisioned when I thought about Batman. Um, so I, something along those lines, and I'm I, I'm hoping I get a movie like that when they finally get around to making a solo Batman movie. My nose itches. Okay, let's answer a few more questions here. <laughs> All right. John, is it wrong? I feel like you were looking into my soul when you were looking into the camera. No, that's not wrong. I am looking into your soul. <sighs> I can smell your weakness. Um, no. Hey, Flicker, I have a problem. I need your advice, which I do. A few months ago, my uncle was evicted from his apartment and forced to live with us. A couple weeks ago, for my uncle's birthday, I got him a... Boss noise canceling headphones, and just the other day, I got out of work early to come home and find my uncle masturbating to toddlers and tiaras. We're gonna stop right there, man. We're gonna stop right there. <laughs> oh, I love I love my Q and A's, and I don't read the questions beforehand. So, all right. Shit. <laughs> what do you? How do you expect me to respond to that? All right. Hey, John, I was wondering if you have checked out any Blu-rays that are deemed mastered in 4K. Was looking to pick up Spider-Man 2, not the shit show we just got at the theater, and noticed that the new version, Mastered 4K, apparently you can still play in a regular Blu-ray player and HDTV. But since it comes with the original film prints, the quality is much higher. Okay, as far as the new 4K Blu-rays go, uh, essentially, this is all kind of a marketing ploy. Uh, it's kind of like Blu-ray's last attempt. If you're using the same optical disc, okay, that means it's the same thing. It's not new. It, you're, you're just utilizing what you already have and calling it 4K. Uh, now, you already have 4K Blu-rays that weren't like, oh, this is 4K, we're going to put it right on top of the box. It's not something new. Look at movies like Taxi Driver. Okay, that Blu-ray release of Taxi Driver was a 4K release. Um, and the problem is, a lot of older Blu-rays, they kind of slopped them out a little too quick. They didn't remaster them like they should. Uh, so essentially, it's nothing new. It's, it's a Blu-ray. Just think of it as a Blu-ray with the proper transfer. That's what 4Ks are, okay? So really, every Blu-ray that we've already had should have been that quality, but they just, some of them kind of just got slopped on the Blu-ray a little bit too quick. Um, now, I have seen 4K Blu-rays. I did see the new Spider-Man. Uh, I actually did see that. Um, and what it is, is it looks to me like they kind of bump up some of the colors a little bit more, uh, almost a more vibrant looking color palette. Um, and it does it look better than the standard version yeah because they took the time and properly transferred it but does that mean that that 4k version it should have already been that you know I'm, I'm losing my mind here but it should have already been that version that we got they finally just took the time to do it right on the 4k versions um, so are they better sure they look better they look slightly better but it's not anything different than a normal blu-ray all right so it's all marking bullshit um, and in my opinion, they haven't even utilized the true space of a Blu-ray yet. Um, so, yeah, and speaking of Blu-rays, it scares me, man. They're dying out. You give it another five years, ah, physical media will not be around anymore. I, it's a scary thought. I don't want to download movies. I don't want my movies on my desktop. I don't want streaming fucking movies. I don't want to see the, the artificial... Uh, bit rates popping up during a streaming movie and I don't care what anyone says you can watch anything on Netflix and I can pinpoint a thousand things of, about the bit rate popping up and downloaded issues with little squares in it and all kinds of random bullshit I want physical media damn it all right all right I need to calm down so anyway guys uh, thanks for all the great questions on this new Q&A uh, sorry there's so many more I need to ah, I hate not being able to answer them all but my brain's going to implode I have to edit two videos right now Thanks for watching, guys. Ask more questions down below, and I'll see you next week. 